Jamaica's game-changing projects, the most massive development set to revolutionize the island. Jamaica is a West Indian island nation. After Cuba and Hispaniola, it's the third largest island in the Caribbean Sea. Jamaica is currently on its journey that would endeavor to create opportunities to increase expenditure on education infrastructure and poverty reduction. In this video, we'll show you some of Jamaica's present and upcoming grand projects. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. The project to enhance urban roads of Jamaica has launched a $13 billion urban road improvement project that will focus on six high traffic corridors in the parishes where Arthur traveled, including Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Catherine. In May of this year, work on the dualization of East King's House Road and Lady Musgrave Road will begin. In August of next year, work on this road will be completed. The drive will be widened from Mountain View to Tom Redcam Drive. Work on this road is scheduled to start next month with a completion date set for August of next year. The majority of the 8,000 additional hotel rooms in various stages of development and planning are being led by European investors. A total of $2 billion will be invested to bring the 8,000 additional hotel rooms online, creating at least 24,000 part-time and full-time jobs, as well as at least 12,000 jobs for construction workers. The 2,000-room Princess Resort in Hanover, which will be Jamaica's largest resort, and another approximately 2,000 rooms in the expansive Hard Rock Resort development are among the buildings now under construction. There is tremendous interest in Jamaica's energy sector, which is growing and diversifying. A program has been launched to increase the island's energy resources by adding approximately 160 megawatts of generation capacity over the next 20 years. The objective is to facilitate lower energy prices and lessen the energy sector's sensitivity to outside shocks like changes in the price of oil. The IRP develops business prospects by issuing requests for proposals that look for financiers to meet the demand for increased energy production. By 2037, the IRP aims to reach 1,260 megawatts of wind and solar, 330 megawatts of LNG, and 74 megawatts of hydro-biomass on waste energy. All Jamaicans and development partners are encouraged to participate in Vision 2030 Jamaica in order to accomplish and reap the benefits of sustainable and inclusive development. A strong and globally competitive economy, a safe and cohesive society, a pristine environment, high levels of human capital development, and more chances for social and economic mobility and prosperity will all result from the attainment of the four goals and 15 national outcomes. The Kingston Port Expansion Project, which includes, among other tasks, changing all dock equipment, dredging the access channel, reinforcing the soil, and recovering 50,000 square meters of land for traffic purposes and anchoring, will allow Jamaica to remain competitive in the region. Jamaica is currently seeking to procure 320 megawatts of wind and solar energy, 120 megawatts of LNG, and 74 megawatts of hydro, biomass, or waste energy for this year. All of these operations must be completed at a busy site. The Kingston Port Extension Project is a significant asset for the growth of maritime trade in the area since the port is strategically located close to the Panama Canal at the intersection of the east-west and north-south shipping lanes. As a result, the Port of Kingston will rank among the top three container ship terminals in the Caribbean Sea. The Southern Coastal Highway project is being carried out in three phases. 28 kilometers from May Penn to Williamsfield, Part B, Yala's Bridge to Port Antonio, and farther at Bay to Cedar Valley is 123.65 kilometers, while Part B, Harbor View to Yala's Bridge is 17.4 kilometers. The first two phases of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Program, which would cost around 11 $1.5 billion will be finished by March 2023. Coastal Highway Improvement Project. In the south, the road construction from Harbor View to Yala's Bridge, Yala's Bridge to Port Antonio, and Marante Bay to Cedar Valley is approximately 45 complete. For those who have come in another segment under the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project is a May Pen to Williamsfield, which is approximately 81 complete. The highway, which began in January 2017, is now slated to end in March 2025. In order to make the existing southern coastal main arterial route safe, effective, flood-free, and able to accommodate future expansion, the project aims to upgrade its alignment and capacity. 
In the Goodyear factory in the parish where the center is being built, preparatory and demolition exercises for the Marath Day Urban Center started in July 2022. Once the center is finished, it will fit the parish's municipal corporation government entity's business process. University, among other institutions, outsources its work. Third Halt Golden Circle for the new legislative building is slated to break ground by year's end, and it is anticipated that this development will result in the creation of 3,000 additional additional employments. The development of National Heroes Park and the construction of Jamaica's new Houses of Parliament have advanced due to the Urban Development Cooperation. The new parliamentary building will increase the capacity of the parliament and allow for more plans to be made to transform the Sunshine City into the 15th parish. With the completion of the Long Hill Bypass, which involves building 10 kilometers of highway from Montego Bay down to Montpelier, and the 25-kilometer-long Montego Bay Perimeter Road, which is being constructed in two segments from Iron Shore to Bogue, people will be able to travel from Kingston to Montego Bay along the Highway 2000 corridor. What is a global logistics hub? Have you ever thought about how goods and products get from one place to another? It's a complicated process that involves transportation, storage, sorting, and processing, which is where logistic hubs come in. Recently, Jamaica has been working to establish itself as a global logistics hub in the Caribbean region. A global logistics hub is a strategic location where goods and services can be efficiently distributed and transported to various parts of the world. The government has acknowledged the significance of logistics in fostering economic growth and has made it a priority to improve infrastructure, attract foreign investments, and strengthen the part of the supply chain. On June 26, 2016, the enlarged Panama Canal commenced operations for commercial purposes. In the September 2021 JS article titled Investments Bringing Increased Business to Kingston Container Terminal, it was reported that according to Professor Gordon Shirley, CEO of the Port Authority of Jamaica, the country is benefiting from the investments made in the Kingston Container Terminal. The Kingston Container Terminal has undergone significant expansion and modernization in recent years. The logistics hub idea in Jamaica has the ability to strengthen the economy of the nation and provide up new employment possibilities for its residents. Because of its advantageous Caribbean location, Jamaica serves as a distribution center for other islands in the area. It is also conveniently close to major markets in North and South America, making it simple to move goods into and out of the country. However, location alone cannot guarantee or position a country as a significant participant in the global supply chain because other countries in the region also share the same location. We must step up our own game since these nations are also developing their own logistic hubs. One strategy is to establish an infrastructure that is conducive to logistics operations. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you liked this content, show your love by clicking on the like button and also subscribing to our channel. Refer to other videos and also check out our playlists for more.